hello welcome back to this channel again in this video i am going to show you the basic plot plot technique on gnu plot okay in previous video i have shown you how to download and install the gnu plot on windows 10 okay if you don't have a gnu plot installed on your desktop or windows 10 then you can watch that video which is uh, provided in the description or you can click on that i button and watch the video so gnu plot you can use uh, simply both in linux based operating system and windows 10 okay uh, in this tutorial i am going to use uh, gnu plot on windows 10 okay so let's start uh, first of all uh, let me open this uh, directory i have this directory on desktop and uh, on this directory i want to create a file let me create a file for this tutorial let it be uh, okay let it be new, new folder too okay so i have to go on this folder to the gnu plot okay so let's open the gnu plot i have this gnu plot 5.2 patch level 8 version so just open it okay and i have already opened it and you have to go to i have to go to that directory i have just created okay so for this uh, click on file and there is an option there is an option called change directory you can click on it and it, the interface opens like this and here you have to go desktop and gnu plot folder and there is new folder too and just click it click on it and click on okay now i am a new folder too which i have just created okay so i am going to create a, a file containing the codes to plot in gnu plot okay so for this uh, uh, let's open a notepad so let's open a notepad okay and uh, first of all let's let me save it okay so i want to save it on this uh, desktop and gnu tutorial and i have created new folder here and name this uh, as okay let it be g uh, g and u dot, okay dot and with a p extension okay and save it okay now you can see if you go to the folder then there is a gnu plot with the p extension file okay so uh, on this folder on this file uh, i am going to create a code for plotting okay on gnu plot uh, first of all let me show you you can simply plot through this okay so let me plot a cos x okay like this you can simply plot from here as well but uh, it is uh, recommended to create a file like this so that you can save the codes for later use okay uh, so it is better to use uh, to create a code file and then run through the gnu plot so that you can use this code later okay whenever you need so let me close it right now so i am going to uh, write code here to plot cos x okay so and uh, we will i will show you how to insert the a legend how to insert the x level y level the title of the plot and how to insert the grid and how to save the file as image file okay so i will i will cover these uh, topics so first of all let uh, just type plot so i am going to uh, plot cos x and using line let it be using line and uh, with line uh, okay with line double means with okay and l means line if you use lp then it will be line point okay let it be line point and lc means color line color will be uh, line color will be let me uh, name it as seven so you can test the color here by typing test and you can check here the number of the colors okay if you so type seven then it will be red if you it then it will be uh, black okay this is color these are color and these are the style of the blocks okay so let me, let me close it okay so i have used color seven okay which will which will show the red color of the line plot okay so uh, let me save it and run this uh, file on genuine plot okay to load this file and just type load and 
uh, semi uh, and bracket okay this uh, inverted bracket okay and inside this uh, the file name of the file genu plot dot p okay see um, so this is name of the file with dot p extension so you have to type whole name of the file with extension okay so it is right now like this and after typing this just click on enter then you will get the file like this okay so this is how the plot of the cos function looks like okay now here is a cos x you can change this uh, this name as well and uh, you have uh, you can insert a uh, name of the x-axis name of y-axis and title of the plot let me close it now okay then to insert a legend you just need to uh, uh, type here title and uh, within double inverted comma, comma you need to uh, type the, what you want to name the uh, legend so let it be You can also change the thickness of this uh, plot. For this, what you need to do is just uh, uh, write here line with okay, W L. Let it be 1.5. Okay. Right now it is uh, default uh, thickness in this. And if you uh, write uh, line with 1.5, then it will be. It will look like. Uh, let uh, run it again. title of the uh, plot okay so for this I'll just uh, type set title okay and you, you can write plot of cross function you can just type it okay save it and again run it okay and you have to replace it see plot of cross function okay so in this way you can insert the plot uh, insert the title on the plot now let's uh, uh, insert the uh, name of x-axis and y-axis okay so for this what you need to do is just uh, type set x labels for x-axis label for x-axis uh, type uh, let it be x uh, axis okay let it be x-axis and set for y label so actual y label is let it be y is equal to cos x okay just save it and again run the program and replace it see okay let me maximize it maximize it so this is x axis and this is y axis in this way you can add the uh, name of the axis okay now uh, right now this is uh, just a uh, plain okay this uh, paper this uh, interface you can add the grid so that it looks like the just your graph paper okay so to add the grid what you need to do is just uh, type set grid okay save it and again let me close it and again run the program okay and to replace it so see now you can see the grid Uh, in this way you can plot the use gnu plot to plot the functions okay so now you ha you have to save this plot in the uh, as a image okay as image so for this what you need to do is just uh, you need to set the terminal uh, terminal uh, as png okay so we are going to save the file in image file in png format of size uh, let it be 722 this is size of the image 600 okay uh, and uh, you have to name the output set output so output file will be let it be cos function with png extension and let it be let uh, uh, report there also okay so type save it and close it 
you can see right now there are no any other file okay except G, this gnu plot with the dot p extension now if you run the program again okay if you run the program you can see there will be uh, other file okay this is with png image file with png extension if you click on here uh, you can see the plot of cos x okay see x axis y axis and name of the plot and this is legend okay in this way you can save the image file of the plot that you created in using gnu plot okay so this is in, this was in this video i have just shown you the basic uh, technique of plot plotting graph in by using gnu plot in windows 10 in next video i will show you how to plot the data from a file uh, in a gnu plot okay so see you in next video until then stay connected with us with uh, us please uh, subscribe the channel and uh, don't forget to like and comment okay if you have any suggestion or if you have any uh, request to uh, request of the topic you want the video okay so see you in next time